Hello, and this is Matt Hoot, and I've got Morgan with me here with me. Now, a lot of you guys are asking for still doors and windows, and my answer is no, definitely don't do that because you, the traditional ones that are made with set glass, you've got, you don't have a thermal break, and there's a lot of energy loss, and they don't meet the energy code. Well, they've actually found a way to come over that. Uh, we've got thermally broken windows and doors behind us, and Morgan's going to explain how that works, what thermal, or thermal break means, and why these meet the energy code and sometimes exceed the energy code. Hey, how's it going? So this is our uh, thermal, uh, thermal steel uh, window and door product. Um, this is manufactured in Tucson, Arizona. Um, so the way we're manufacturing this is uh, we're laser cutting stainless steel sheets out of 304 stainless steel and joining them together with our GRP thermal break material. Uh, GRP stands for Glass Reinforced Poltrusion. It's essentially a structural fiberglass material. So if we look at this thermal steel pivot door right here, this whole area right in the center of the door, this is our thermal break with the stainless steel uh, interior and exterior skin. Uh, so this thermal break here, this is going to be the largest in the steel industry. And with that thermal break, we're actually able to get U values as low as about 0.3, uh, sorry, 0.26 uh, and triple glazed. And we can get down to about a 0.3 with dual glaze systems on it. Um, so as far as uh, thermal efficiency goes, um, Arcadia Custom Thermal Steel is going to be probably uh, the most efficient steel product uh, in the industry right now, just based solely based on the large thermal break uh, option that we have. So the actual units are pretty efficient, so yes. let's look at the gaskets and stuff, like when the window shuts, are you going to feel drafts coming around it, like the traditional ones where it only has felt, or like what kind of gaskets do you have? Yeah, do you want to come look at, this, yeah, uh, look at this, this steel door down here? So all of our uh, all of our steel operable steel units are going to be using multi-point locking systems right here. So when you lift up on the handle, it's going to be engaging these multi-point uh, mechanisms right here on the inside of the sash. Uh, when you do that, it's going to be compressing this weather stripping either on the, uh, the frame of the window or door or against the passive panel. So if you want to come to the inside right here, what was that made out of? Um, so this is a, a neoprene gasket. Got it. Yeah. So, so this isn't felt like a commercial one, so no. it's going to be much more energy efficient. Yes, definitely. So when we shut the door here, um, you can shut it like any normal door, it's going to shut. But then when we look up here, it's uh, when we engage the multi-point lock, it's going to suck in this door panel towards the other one to get oh, nice. a positive seal on that weather stripping. So that's going to remove any kind of drafts or um, airflow coming into the home. Um, and then it's just like a regular door, you're just going to lift down on the handle and push out. They said multi-point locking system. It usually has three points. I noticed there's more than three points on this. Yeah, so it's going to get, uh, uh, depending on the height of the door, you're going to have anywhere from uh, four to five active uh, door multi-point engagements um, all the way up from the top to the bottom of the door to make sure that we're getting a positive seal all the way up and down the sash. Got it. So you have windows and doors. I see some, yeah. some windows here, some doors. So let's take a look at this window that's part of a curtain wall. Yeah, so here uh, we're doing a... a horizontal pivoting window. Um, this is kind of just a little bit of a novelty item here, but um, we're doing everything from uh, awnings, casements, uh, hoppers, tilt and turn windows, uh, and then traditional uh, vertical pivoting windows. Um, all of them are either gonna be, uh, in this example here, we're just using a single point lock, but typically what we're doing is a multi-point lock on all of our systems, like we were showing on the door to get okay. a positive seal around the entire frame. And do you have some samples of um, casement windows? Um, this is a corner uh, corner sample of a casement window uh, right here. So it's essentially the same exact uh, profile as a swing door. Um, super minimal, uh, inch and 13 16 frame depth. Um, and again, uh, both the sash and the frame have the thermal break material in them. Nice. So this system right here, this is our 9,000 key thin line sliding door. Um, this is a new product for us this year, uh, so we're showing in our booth and we've actually paired up with uh, Summit Automation to make this uh, door motorized, so just with push of a button, we can get the door opening, and it collects all the panels on its way in uh, towards the jam. And then this automation system here is variable speed, so you can speed up the, uh, the, the movement of the door in your own home. And for safety at the show, we're keeping it a little bit, a bit on the slower side here. And then again, just pushing the button, you can close the door. 
Yeah, I was going to ask this in the comments, like what happens like when your kid or your dog gets in that door? So typically what's going to happen is that Summit will uh, include a sensor system for the door. Uh, so if anyone walks through or near the door as it's closing, it automatically stops. Got it. But this being a busy uh, trade show, that sensor would probably always be triggered. So we uh, decided to just keep an eye on it while it's opening and closing, make sure no one gets Got pinched it. in there. So another thing we're doing with uh, Summit Automation here is this uh, triple thermal steel pivot system. So again, just push the button and this unit here, uh, all three close simultaneously. And then again, just showing the unit opening. And most of our systems uh, can be automated, but again, all of them are gonna be coming from a standard as a manual operation. And so the pivot doors have that triple point locking mechanism as well, correct? Yes, they do. Got it, well, I do I really do appreciate your time. I saw one other door at the very end, like what is yeah. this door? Our wood pivot door over here. Uh, so that's a uh, walnut uh, pivot door. Uh, we're using Fritz Jurgens pivot hardware. It's actually a, a pivot system that's located in the bottom of the door here. So all you're working with as uh, far as a pivot system goes is that uh, system that's embedded in the bottom of the door. So it's gonna have a 90 degree hold open um, and it has a variable closing speed. So if I start the door closing here, take it past 90 and walk away, it's gonna close by itself at a nice slow rate. And then we also have a stainless steel panel in the door that we uh, finished with our uh, acrylic polyurethane paint as well. And so this has the locking system as well to kind of get that nice um, tight air seal? Typically it will. Uh, here at the show booth, we just have the single, uh, single point lock right here to lock the door. And as far as the hardware, everything comes with the hardware. You don't have to worry about ordering that separately? Yeah. Um, Everything, most everything comes with the hardware. Our wood systems, uh, we do not include hardware because typically people are wanting to select their own trim levers. Got it. So where can people uh, find this product or find more information about this to purchase it? Uh, so depending on where you're located, we have distribution networks set up throughout the U.S. Um, and everyone uh, can go onto ArcadiaCustom.com and uh, we have a distributor locator on our website. And um, you can also reach out to us directly via our website. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem.